I've been drinking all this lean, I know I need to stop. Having out of stolen cars and we shoot chops and ops. To my channel, beautiful people, it's your girl Lydia here. Um, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe. And if you already subscribed, thanks for coming back. So today I'm I'm gonna be showing you how I do my everyday go-to makeup, kind of like the black girl go-to for me. Um, if you want to see how I do it and the products that I use, stay tuned. So today, I have been just doing my makeup on and off, I think on the channel, but I haven't really gotten into details with what products I use and pretty much my natural, well, not natural because you put it makeup on, but my everyday go-to, which is like, it's not really dramatic. I feel like that's how my, my makeup always looks like. And today, I'm just gonna be showing you guys the products that I've been using. So without further ado, <clears throat> let's get into it. Right now, I have my, my edges kind of I did my edges so I'm laying it down um, to make sure it curls up properly so I'm gonna go ahead and um, we'll tear my hair okay so first thing I do I have a really oily face so I go in with my Fenty um, primer this is for oily skin I have lotion on but I don't have too much because if I put too much it's gonna start right here my nose and then right here just gets super duper oily so i try not to use too much lotion like for moisturize when i do my makeup but i do moisturize my face so i go in with my primer Then next, I go with in with my Fenty. Um, I think this is in. It's like this says Pro Filter, but it's a four four fifty. Um, when I first got it, it didn't really match with my skin, but I think it grew on me. Anyway, I always do my uh, foundation with a brush. I can't do it with a sponge. I don't know why. I like doing the sponge. I'll show you later on in the video, but I always do it with my brush. A bit really neutral like I remember seeing on TikTok people just be going in with foundation and then with a concealer and then I'm just like your face is doesn't it itch when you put too much on your face I just I can't I can't do that much um, foundations on my face so I do I go in with a little So now that is done, I, st I go in with my eyebrows. So I first brush it up and I have pretty thick eyebrows already so I don't really need to go in with that much eyebrow pencil. So I have this is the um, CoverGirl 7 710 Soft Brown. It has the brush on the edge and then it has the little tip right here so what I do is I just go in at the ends I don't really fill it in all the way I add a little shape to it at the end I don't fill it all the way because or else it's gonna be too boxy and too thick I don't like when my eyebrows look too thick or like fake <laughs> I like the soft kind of look and then brush it out So now it comes to the part that makes or breaks the makeup. <laughs> um, I don't know, I probably say it a lot if in my videos, if my eyebrows don't look good, listen, my whole makeup don't look good, okay? <clears throat> so you can't barely tell, but I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Medium Palette and I go in with, I think it's cinnamon. Yeah, I go, I use cinnamon for my brows and then I mix it with my concealer. This is the concealer that I always go to. It's a um, LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Frown. So I use some of that and put it into like the cinnamon. 
and then mix it together. asking me how do people get it um, get their eyebrow part to be kind of like highlighted me personally um, since I use concealer just by concealer I also add with cinnamon to kind of give it a little bit of like a pop than my concealer so that it like kind of is a little lighter than my whole face that's how I do it she was asking about it and she's like why didn't you ever do a makeup tutorial I'll watch that like like, I love how you do your makeup, and I'm like, I didn't know I was good at makeup, but here we are. I just do what it fits my face. <clears throat> so, now that the bottom is laid out, I go in with this shit, the middle shade. It's called Chocolate. <clears throat> I use the same brush with this, with the color still on there, and I go in with in chocolate and then I go on the top with it since it's like a darker kind of color <clears throat> so that's what I do and then I'm gonna go in with my concealer at the bottom of my eye <clears throat> so I do the inner corner and then I do a little bit on the outside I usually get this at my beauty supply store and I can't find them anywhere so <clears throat> probably have to order them online I just don't like ordering online because it takes forever I'd rather just go in the store and have it so that's my dilemma Blender. And then I go in with my brush and kind of blend out that eye concealer that I did earlier into the bottom. So now, before I finished putting everything together, I'm going to go in with my contour stick. Um, this is Juvia's, Juv Juvia's Place in the shade Congo. Focus today, but <clears throat> Juvia's Place in shade Congo. And I just go on the top. I just kind of like dot it because I don't want it too much there. So I don't really drag it. I dot it. And then I go some on the top up here and then I use my contour kind of stick and dab 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 a little bit and then kind of go along my nose bridge and then I take it in my eyebrow bottom. now the bottom of it I kind of make like a V Wear a blender and then just kind of like dab it in. Okay, 
now that I put that on, I'm gonna go in again with a sponge and like blend everything a lot more. Okay, so now that this is how it's looking, I go in with um, my setting powder. This is CoverGirl. Um, CoverGirl Clean Professionals. This is in 120 translucent honey. And I go in with that on the top. Since this is kind of like my color, I just go in with it. And I like that it doesn't make my face out too white. So you see, I'm not putting too much. I just want you to see the contour and not, I don't want to see the streak of like either concealer or I don't want to see that big of a streak. So I always go a lot lighter at the bottom of my cheeks. And then for the eye and the nose, I go in this kind of pencil so I can have more control. As a pencil. Brush <laughs> so I can have more control where I put it, and then I go in to kind of conceal my brows, also. So now, now that that's sitting, we're gonna go in and work on our eyes. So I first like to go in with um, my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Prime Potion, the original. This is how it looks like. Um, I think I got this from Ulta. It was like $28 or $30 something dollars. Just kind of like put it on my eye. I love this primer. Like my shadow, since I have an oily face like up here, my shadow just stays <clears throat> like the whole day. It's crazy. Like this like literally magic. It's a magic potion. Just saying. Um, it stays for a really long time. And I love it. I love it so much. So now I'm gonna go in with my Man Eater by Tarte. Um, and I'm going to go in with um, Saucy, which is that color. I go in at the crease first to kind of create a little base for blending. This is how it's looking like right now. I don't know if you could tell, but it's there. And so now I will go in with <clears throat> Purr. As you can see, I hit pan in Purr because it's actually Purr. It will be purring on your eyelid, like eyelids, okay? So I just go in with the brush first and then transition into use my finger. 
So I'll just like dab, 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 dab it in there. her is looking on the lid so to bring her out I'm gonna go in with midnight right here and kind of smoke the outside out I also like to go in with uh, midnight at the bottom of my eye This is how the eye is looking. So now, before moving on to my um, my eyeliner, I'm going with with these lashes. I got them on Shein, and when I tell you, these lashes are bomb. It was five dollars for like I think six of them. It was six pairs for like five, six or seven pairs for five of them. Um, so I'm gonna put my glue. I use the duo black. I like to go in with my glue so so that they can sit while I finish my eye. So when I come back, I don't have to wait for them to dry or nothing. But you don't want them to be dried out before you get them. So that's why I wait till putting my my liner on before I put the glue on there. See, I have a system, okay? I have a whole system with it. Trust the process. Trust the process. I feel like if you do this every, well, not every day, because I don't wear makeup every day, but when I put makeup, this is my go-to. When you do it every day, you just kind of discover tricks that works for you. So find what works for you, and if you need a little tips, get it from somebody. Listen, that's what I did, and apparently people love it, so they're going to love it. Okay, so now I go in with my liner. I don't know where I got this from. I think it was, um, I think I got this from Walmart. I forgot what it's called. It's probably like LA, but this is how it looks like. It has a little thing to kind of help you guide it if you don't know how to make a wing. But I'm pretty okay at making my wings. So I'm gonna go in with my liner, bear me. So I first make the tail first, like the wing, like so, and then I'll go in and kind of like drag it down. Like that, and then I shade it in. Liner, no liner. Liner, no liner. I'm gonna do the second one. One bad thing about this liner that I don't like is if you could see it, it has like a, like right here, it just, the sides be kind of like 
coming off like poofing off I don't know if you can see it when you put it back in the lid that's the only bad thing I don't like about it but it's really fluid and like kind of it brings a lot and it's just like so easy to maneuver that's why I like it so it has its pros and cons so anyway this is how my liner is looking so before I do anything else I like to go in with my mascara this is uh, maybe maybe Lynn maybe Lynn I don't know if this still saw these no more but as you can tell it is kind of old but it works and there is a lot more in there so let's go in with my Maybelline I like to go in with my mascara first because um, I feel like if I put my uh, my lashes on there with my mascara having like foundation and um, freaking concealer in there, you can tell that I have the false eyelashes because the bottom doesn't blend. Um, some people like to do this after they put the lashes on. Me personally, when I put this and put the lashes on, I just feel like I'm making the um, eyelash extensions kind of like um, too crusty with the product so I like to do it and then put it on so it's not like being transferred and it's also like not a waste of product you know what I mean so that's what I like to do I go at the, at the top also and that I don't do the bottom yet because I'll tell you why. I had I'll go in with my fixer after, and if I put it at the bottom, it just like runs. So I like to do everything, put the fixer on, and then go in. You get me? You following? Okay. So let's check our. Still kind of wet, so we're gonna clean off our powder on our face. My camera keeps saying um, cracking, canceled, which I don't understand. Let me check to make sure. Okay, now that that's off, I like to take whatever I have on my edges off to make sure everything is blended from the top down. So that's how it's looking. So then I go in with my um, foundation brush to make sure it's kind of like blended. Now it's looking dried. Now I'm gonna put that on. I don't know why <laughs> I use my hand. This is a lot easier for me to control. It's all about the control for me. it's looking This is how it looks like right now. So now, now I like to go in with ColourPop 
um, I just kind of like makes the whole bottom color pop. This is such a rush cheek palette to kind of like blend everything in with the cheeks. So what I do is I go in with this one first. Blend, 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 blend the whole face. shade I think I got this from Walmart I think I got it from Walmart but I could be wrong don't call me but I think I got it from Walmart um I just struggle to find uh, a blush that I like I like it pinky but I like it like kind of this the kind of dark pink so when I found it I'm like okay Walmart Top. The thing is coming together, right? I'm coming together, right? So now that's done, I like to go in with the Fenty Beauty. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face so everything will like pop when I put it on after the spray. out so as you can see I was covering the edges because I don't want it to get wet and start lifting so now I take my Fenty Beauty and my brush in here Oh, this is called Mean Honey. Mean Honey and Hustler Baby. Hustler Baby. But I use I use the Hustler Baby part, which is this part right here. I didn't just wake up I like to go in with my brush go into the inner corner and literally it just I feel like it opens my whole face I feel like it opens my face up you know After this is done, now if you, well, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I'm going to go in with my mascara at the bottom, like I said. And depending on if I'm going out or I'm, I'm staying home, <laughs> like going out or if it's like a regular makeup day, like I don't, I choose to do my lips dramatically or I just put my gloss on.
the makeup looks um if you enjoyed watching this and you want to try it out do and let me know how yours turned out you could um dm it to me or tag me in it on instagram at underscore lydia haruna please check out my tiktok at lydia haruna it'll be listed on the screen um please make sure you subscribe leave a comment down below if you like this video and i'll catch you guys in my next one